Hello everyone, Alaska here, and I have a light language video for you. Um, this came to me from a dream, actually, that I had early this morning. It was a pretty scary dream for me. Um, I've never had anything like it before. Um, I was guided to make this light language video because of it. And um, I'll kind of explain my dream. I... I was, it almost looked like a hospital. I was in a hospital and I was in a bed. And um, these two doctors walked up to me and they were trying to explain why I needed um, something. At the time, I did not know what they were talking about. I just knew that they wanted to do something to me and I wasn't really sure about it. Um, for some reason, um, the other doctor person um, I guess I had a little baby, they took it away, and at this point, I got extremely upset, and, um, all of a sudden, the other doctor had this, um, it looked like a little tube, in a way, they wanted to put it into my eye, and the corner of it, and they made it sound like, for some reason, that I needed it done, um, I did not want it. I remember screaming in um, the dream and um, screaming, 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 and they did it anyway. And as it was doing it, I almost kind of felt like, um, like a computer. I remember at one point I stopped screaming and it's like um, a television screen. It kind of went off and on, kind of with like the snow looking um, static stuff. And I kind of blinked and it was over. And um, I woke up shortly after that. And when I woke up this morning, I had kind of like a headache coming up behind my eye. Um, I did have it last night. That could have been the reason why I dreamed it. But I got a really um, a not very good feeling about it. I don't didn't want nothing in my body, um, especially something that I said no to. Um, I think that's kind of um, the red flag for me is that I was screaming no, and they did it anyway. So... Um, I did, um, I have been thinking on this this morning, all morning, and I did connect to Source and Gaia already, and while I was connected to Source, I actually, um, I let this dream replay, I really kind of felt it out, and, um, Archangel Michael and Raphael stepped in, and, um, I kind of looked at, uh, Michael, and I almost wanted to start crying, and I asked him for his sword, and I pretty much removed my eye and took it out and um this led me not to just take out something behind my eye but something in my ear and some kind of wire thing around um kind of in my heart and I've heard um different stories about implants and um stuff like that I don't really know much about that I haven't really looked into it um, maybe I should because the stream was really unnerving for me but um I'm thinking that it's a common thing that people talk about this, so I'm, I wanted to make this light, light language video for those who may have experienced something like this. Um, maybe you don't even remember because it was a dream, but I, um, it was a very unsettling feeling not being able to be in control and, um, to have this forcefully done, and I feel... Like with light language, either maybe you're made aware or you can call in your angels. I do think if you're drawn to watch this video, that the best thing that you can do is pause it, close your eyes, connect with source into Gaia and ground or however you feel that you need to do it and really um, connect with source and call in um, Archangel Michael and Raphael for... Um, cutting cords, removing implants, um, have, um, what I did was, um, Archangel Raphael, he, um, he healed me, and this is the thing, um, like, he, after, after I used, uh, Michael's sword, and Michael helped me take this out, Raphael stepped in, and kind of, um, put his hand on me, and really kind of sent his energy into the parts of me that this thing was in, these things. Um, also, uh, when I connected with Gaia, the color that I saw, it was almost kind of like a milky white, and I really got the feeling like it was some kind of, like, more medicine, kind of, to help me heal, 
Um, I brought it up through me, brought it and took it all the way to source. And um, yeah, and then I, I slowly came out of it after bringing, um, breathing in more source energy into me. So I do want to um, bring in some light language, um, whether this the light language helps you to realize, um, helps you to heal or to call in your angels or whatever it needs to do, whatever it needs to do. Um, I hope that it can help you. So I'm gonna get on my knees here. And, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just feeling out my connection here. Um, I'm really getting a lot of um, hand movements with this and I'm actually going to put this down because I really feel like I need to be addressing certain areas And I will look off to the side. I'm really kind of feeling this out. I don't want to miss anywhere. I feel like, um, I don't know what these things are. I really, I don't like the feeling I get with them, but I don't exactly know, um, what they are. And, um, I feel like they could be anywhere. And I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want this to go all the way up. Wow, okay. Let me slow it down real quick. I'm kind of explaining what's still happening. I did have Sirius step forward. I did have Andromeda step forward. No. Sirius and um, Arcturus. They stepped forward with the east. They got the east. They got the east. 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 Got the <laughs> my Arcturian guys tell me, yeah, bring it down a little bit. It's okay. And um, he is a man that I see um, 
I wish I knew his name, but um, I do feel this is, uh, sorry for my dog, this is very, um, they're very involved with this um, thing, with protecting us from this, with um, at least making us aware of this. And um, they do want us to be aware of it, they're aware of it. Um, it's what I can't say and what I can't make sense of, I know it's coming through the light language, so your higher self is going to be able to make sense of what I'm saying. And um, somewhere I know what I'm saying, I just can't say it. I do get something about dreams though. Um, um, try to remember your dreams, pay attention to your dreams, write them down. A lot of times, and I know with me, I'll remember it when I first wake up, within a few minutes, I don't remember anything anymore. And um, it's really important stuff too. And I know this because there was a few days where I was dreaming and then I would forget. And then um, one morning I wrote it down and I was like, wow, I would have never uh, found the importance of that had I not written it down because your mind seriously wants to block it out. Just to get the ish, to get the it's, it's because it's so informative and so powerful that um, it just for some reason represses it. I'm just like, well, I'm, it's not really sure whether we're supposed to know yet or not. And it's kind of really trying to take it easy on us. Just to get the ish, to get the, if that makes sense. So that to get the air at all. Wash to get the ish, to get the ansta, de to get the asta, vora get the ista. And my Arcturian um, guide is stepping forward again. Um, my throat's kind of getting thick. Look at the air. 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 Look at the Okay, I think this may be it. Um, I really do feel it is important for you to, um, even if you didn't stop your video to do it after this video, really kind of um, close your eyes and meditate on this, connect with source, bring in the archangels. They are here to help you um, get these things out. I don't know what they are. I don't know what they do. I don't know if they're like a programming thing. I haven't really looked much into um, implants or anything like that. I, I don't. I wish I did because then I would know more about what's going on, but um, I don't think they're good. So use your um, discernment, your higher self. Let um, let them they don't, they'll know whether they're good or not, and um, what you should do. So much love to you and many blessings, and I hope that this helps you. Um, and I think that's it. Have a great day.